sets new local content records. Chika Amens Nechiku. Total Upstream Nigeria Limited, TUPNI, has given a firm assurance that the Ijina Field project will be completed within the initial budget of $16 billion. The Ijina Field was discovered by TUPNI in 2003 within the Oil Mining License 130, OML 130, some 200 kilometers south of Port Harcourt, Nigeria. The field is being developed by Total Upstream Nigeria Limited in partnership with the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, CNOOC, South Atlantic Petroleum, SAPETRO, and Petrobras. It will at resumption of production, add 200,000 barrels per day to Nigeria's oil production, approximately 10% of the country's total oil production. Ijina is the largest investment project currently ongoing in the oil and gas sector in Nigeria. The overall progress of the project stands at 88% and a key milestone was achieved on October 31, 2017 as the floating, production, storage and offloading unit, FPSO, started its journey to Nigeria. According to Total, the project is expected to be completed in Q4 2018, within the initial budget of $16 billion. Being the first major deep water development project launched after the enactment of the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry Content Development NOGICD, Act of 2010, Ijina has the highest level of local content of any such project in Nigeria. As operator of the Ijina project, Total Upstream Nigeria Limited fully identifies with the government aspirations for Nigerian content and has been working closely with the Nigerian Content Development Monitoring Board, NCDMB, and Nigeria National Petroleum Company, NNPC, to maximize Nigerian content on the project. Key Nigerian content features of the Ijina project include 24 million man hours worked in Nigeria, 77% of total project workload equivalent to a workforce of 3,000 persons on average over a period of five years, 60,000 tons of equipment to be fabricated in Nigeria, over 560,000 man-hours of human capacity development training across Ijina contracts, construction of several large-scale new fabrication facilities in Nigeria and upgrade of several existing fabrication yards. The Ijina project includes pioneering Nigerian content achievements, the FPSO of Ijina, a 330-meter-long vessel designed to process oil and gas from the Ijina field, will be berthed at the quayside in Nigeria for integration of locally fabricated modules, a first for Nigeria. Also, Ijina has the highest number of FPSO topside modules, 6, to be fully fabricated and integrated in Nigeria. The assembly of the integrated control and safety system of the FPSO was fully performed in Nigeria. Ijina includes the fabrication of the largest subsea equipment, manifolds, risers, ever completed in Nigeria, far above what was achieved in previous projects. The Ijina project is testimony to the fact that large deep water projects can be developed with a very high level of in-country activities thus fulfilling the aspirations and objectives of the federal government of Nigeria in terms of employment generation, capacity building and industrial capability development.